Welcome to the SimTable hardware setup video. In this video, we will demonstrate how to set up the SimTable and prepare it for use. Here we will outline the various components of the SimTable hardware. The SimTable consists of the sand tray, the sand media, the head unit, the stand, the ball joint and quick release, the power cable, the keyboard and laser pointer, the manual, and the pelican carrying case. Next, determine a good location to set up the SIM table. This location needs to have low lighting and have access to electricity and the internet. If there are windows with blinds or drapes, close them to darken the space. An ideal location would have dimmable lighting and not be exposed to direct sunlight. Depending upon the size of table you have, you will need one to two six foot long tables. When locating the tables, leave room around the perimeter to set up the stand and head unit. Once located, place the portable sand tray on the tabletop. Unroll the tray. Insert the supporting structures in the side flaps. And Velcro the corners. Unload the sand media into the tray. Evenly distribute the sand and smooth out the sand surface. Next, set up the stand and head unit. Begin with building the stand. Note that the model of your stand may be different than the one shown. Locate the stand behind the sand table. Retrieve the ball joint and quick release from the Pelican case and mount it to the stand. Once mounted, cock the quick release back in preparation for attaching the head unit. Retrieve the head unit from the Pelican case and mount it to the quick release. Ensure the quick release is engaged before letting go of the head unit. Insert the bottom of the head unit fitting first, then rotate the head unit to engage the quick release. Once the head unit is mounted, plug the head unit into the power cord and plug the power cord into an outlet. Next, the head unit needs to be powered on. Begin with removing the projector's lens cover and powering on the projector. When a blank image is seen projected on the table, raise the head unit and align the projection to the sand tray boundary. When satisfied with the projection, tighten the stand to lock the head unit in position. Power up the computer located on the back side of the head unit and turn on the wireless keyboard. Dim the lights in the room and wait for the AnyHazard software to load. When AnyHazard first starts, it will show the camera alignment screen. The goal of this screen is to achieve good focus and camera alignment. First, adjust the projector focus to ensure a sharp image is projected. Second, adjust the camera next to the projector on the head unit so the white square is completely contained inside of the camera view. 
When satisfied with the alignment, press spacebar to continue. The camera calibration procedure will run, completing the setup. Once complete, the main AnyHazard interface will appear. At this point, one can test the functionality of the laser pointer to confirm the unit is working properly. If there appears to be any issues with the laser pointer, verify the camera calibration using the ABCs of the AnyHazard software. Press A to confirm the alignment of the camera to the projection. Press B to identify any significant blind spots the camera can't see. And press C to recalibrate the camera. If you are still having issues, feel free to contact SimTable support. If everything is working, you can now begin to shape the sand and run scenarios with the SimTable. When you are done using the sim table, it is best practice to shut down the computer and projector. Quit any hazard by pressing the Windows or Command key and the letter Q. Shut down the computer by clicking the apple in the top left corner of the screen and then clicking shut down. When the computer is fully shut down, turn off the projector and light the room back up. Place the lens cap on the projector. Lower the stand. Unplug the head unit. Remove the head unit from the stand by opening the quick release. Store the head unit in the Pelican carrying case. and be sure to turn off the wireless keyboard before putting it away. Thank you for watching the SimTable hardware setup video. If you have any questions or need any assistance, feel free to reach out to SimTable support at the contact below. Thanks again.